Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we're going to do a quick video on replacing the touch screen on an RCA Viking Pro. It's the RCT6303W87DK. There's the model number. It has some screws that I'm pointing out uh, around the edges. There's uh, a couple on the back side near the uh, keyboard dock. Just took those out. There's actually three screws on the side that has the power button. And I've forgotten only took out two. We'll have to get that third one here later. There's two on the other side. And there's two on the bottom side on either either end of the ch of the keyboard dock. <clears throat> and it's cracked. In this particular case, we're going to uh, only be replacing the the front uh, glass, the touch screen itself, not the display. There are some little indentations that you can get your tool into to help. Uh, assist you in prying out the mid-frame and getting the back off. So if you're just going to, if you needed to replace only the display, you'll want to be careful because the digitizer caper cable is actually uh, near the edge, very close to the edge, so when you're running your tool through there you can damage it. I'll point that out in a second. Most of the time, though, it's it's either there's the touch screen digitizer flex cable right here. It's very easy to get a tool in there and damage that. So if you if yours is not broken and you just want to replace the the display behind it, <coughs> you'll want to be careful of that. There's also a cable uh, that's connected to the middle of the board here. Uh, you want to be careful you can't take this back off until you've uh, disconnected the cable it attaches to the keyboard dock as you can see it kind of floats in the middle right there so you'll want to be careful before you just take the back off that you disconnect that cable from the main board first it's got tape sort of holding it down um, on the back so it's just easier to take it off of the main board and yep we've discovered that screw we, we missed so we're going to take that out and now this will come out really easy and we'll be able to get access to that cable you can see it real good now it's connected right there to that main board And now that uh, that's disconnected, we can remove the back. So the keyboard dock has uh, four large magnets at the bottom. One here, two here, and two here. And then it, the keyboard sits down in those little plastic uh, parts there, little indentations on that cover. And uh, really all you need to do is, is disconnect the battery. Um, I got a little ahead of myself here and disconnected uh, the battery and the speaker and uh, pulled some tape off. Really didn't need to do all that. Um, some of this tape we don't need, but like the stuff I'm taking off now, that, that can go in the trash. You're not going to need that. Um, but uh, really all you need to do is just be able to disconnect this digitizer cable here which slides through a small slot there where I just pointed so disconnecting the battery is really all you need to do in this case some of these models actually have the battery soldered to the main board that tape I just took off didn't need to do that don't really need the tape either so either way it doesn't really matter um, this is the antenna for the Wi-Fi and it runs down along the side and is actually soldered directly to the main board. And there's a little microphone up here that's also soldered to the main board. 
so eh, it doesn't matter much you're not going to have to take any of that out to replace just the touch screen so I'm just going to plug the speaker back in and we'll go on from there now we put it on a hot plate <clears throat> to get it nice and warm and um, the touch screen has actually got uh, basically a sort of plastic uh, mount with glass mounted to uh, a, a sheet of plastic so the outer uh, border is very flexible once you cut through the adhesive on the plastic border you will have to go a little bit further in and separate the glass from the frame which also has adhesive so first we'll get this uh, flexible plastic stuff loosened up and then we're going to get down inside here and we're going to get right up on top of the just behind the glass uh, a little bit it's really thick glass you'll be able to see that pretty easily um, and we're going to we're going to cut through the adhesive on that just be careful that you don't shove your tool in too far and damage the display so of, of the RCA tablets this is probably one of their uh, higher end versions um, for RCA this is actually one of their better ones I guess and most of the places uh, that do these kinds of repairs uh, at least around my area won't even touch these so I get I get these a lot and then we're just gonna easily carefully separate that and then cut the last that little bit off the bottom there and we can get this out As you can see it's very flexible and then there's the hard glass that's mounted to that plastic and then it has adhesive on the plastic and the display all the way around so the new display at least in this particular case came with some adhesive already on it but it uh, for some reason it doesn't have it in in every single place where I think it should be so I uh, I went ahead and added some adhesive in a few places where um, uh, the the adhesive on the new dis, uh, digitizer it wasn't located so all the way around the edges here I clean this all up get any old adhesive off and we put on the adhesive that we want uh, in some areas where they didn't have it on the new touchscreen so I don't know why they did it that way but they did and um, one of the parts about this repair that's kind of difficult is this part right here getting that cable in there and lining this uh, glass up perfectly with the frame is not as easy as you might think um, there's, there's an extra piece of film on here I'm going to actually peel that off and get it out of my way so I can see better and then there's another one so be careful how you handle uh, this that you don't get fingerprints on the inside on the display or on the inside of the touch screen but um, once you've kind of gotten it in position uh, once the adhesive uh, makes contact it does not uh, want to move so you really want to make sure that you've got it centered and aligned properly before you uh, make any kind of contact with the adhesive and that's hard to do uh, actually but you can do it um, if it's off just a little bit you can put it on a hot plate warm it up and you can kind of slide it over some so if you do it quickly and uh, before it's had a chance to really sit 
uh, you can make some small very small slight adjustments but if it's off by a lot you're gonna have to you're gonna have to separate it again and start over so once we've got all that in we can connect our digitizer cable and plug our battery back in and uh, I just uh, went ahead and already tested it so uh, I already know it works so to save time on this video I went ahead and tested it beforehand so you'll want to make sure that you do that before you put your adhesive strips or do whatever you gotta do with the adhesive so don't take your masking off or anything before it or it'll be stuck down and then if it doesn't work you have to turn around and, and it gives you all kinds of trouble so we're going to reconnect uh, the keyboard dock cable and put our back back on. Now we'll put all our screws back. You could say this was a fairly easy repair, but then again, you could say that it's uh, a little bit difficult uh, lining up the the new touch screen once you get your the masking off your adhesive. Getting that thing lined up perfectly is is really difficult to do if you make contact with the adhesive in any in any spot before you've centered it or gotten it perfectly aligned um, that will give you a lot of trouble so other than that it's really straightforward easy repair we're just going to plug it in show that it's charging now there's a, an extra piece of uh, protective film over this but I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down for the customer and leave that film on for them they want to put a screen protector or something on that way they don't get fingerprints on the screen and uh, I just kind of go around the edges make sure everything is is flush with the frame and nothing sticking up like it shouldn't and then uh, I'm gonna get some alcohol here and clean off any smudges or anything that a little bit of sticky stuff that might be on there while we wait for this to boot now this one also uh, had completely the wrong date like 2009 or something so I went ahead and went in and, and changed that um, they had it set for auto I turned that off so I can get access to uh, the oh and then we just went into major zoom so we got into zoom mode here by mistake tapping on it double tapping really quick I guess uh, activated the zoom in any case we're gonna go ahead and uh, make use of that zoom and go through here and bring it up to date Now we'll adjust the time so it's correct. Then it took me a second, but I realized it took a two finger double tap to get the zoom to go away. So now that we got that gone, we can get out of here. And that's basically it for this repair. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye-bye now.